Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I guess good afternoon, Secretary Newman. Um, I just wanted to briefly follow up on, on what the chairman had said in, in his original comments. Uh, he talked about the you know, governor having $3.6 billion of tax increases. Meanwhile, we had some, several programs zeroed out amongst them rural leadership training, the supercomputer center, the Pennsylvania Infrastructure Technology Alliance program. And I understand your answer that, that these were viewed as legislative priorities. But just out of curiosity, do you ever actually do any outcome measurements on, on all these programs before they're, before they're blue lined out or before they're zeroed out? We didn't do any outcome measurements on, on those. And in particular, um, uh, again, looking at opportunities that we had when we're putting together our budget and our budget request, we look at uh, what we believe are the most critical needs that we have based upon the discussions we have with folks in the communities and, and throughout Pennsylvania uh, and in the business community. And, uh, you know, we may obviously not always agree with, with some of the other ones that are put in there, uh, but certainly understand that, uh, you know, they're all very important uh, line items. They're all very important programs that, that, that we have. Um, and I think, uh, you know, we've, we've understood the pressures of the budget and, and tried to do the best that we could. Yeah. Uh Along those lines, in, in the budget, there is a uh, new line item uh, entitled Economic Growth and Development Assistance for $6.4 million for 1617. And I believe there also was a supplemental uh, appropriation, a request for a supplemental appropriation for 1516 for a similar amount. I've been having trouble trying to figure out exactly what that is, if you could help me a little bit on sure. that. Sure. I think we're looking at is we're looking at um, you know maybe regional development initiatives that, that are very unique and, and, and in a lot of cases short term. So there are areas throughout uh, Pennsylvania uh, that may not fit within one of the existing uh, 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 program uh, budgets that we have right now, uh, and it could be uh, helping to get additional air service for for the Pittsburgh Airport or Erie or something like that, as an example. Uh, we're determining right now, we're going to put the guidelines together to determine exactly, you know, how those would be, would be utilized. But they're really strategic regional initiatives that are, that are very important uh, that simply don't fit within any of the boxes of the programs that we have right now. And I, with all due respect, and, and I appreciate everything that, that you all do, but f for those of us sitting here, you have to understand where we're coming from as well. And our consternation, we have... We have uh, asked for proposed increased taxes, proposed increased spending, solid programs that have proven programs that are blue lined, and now we're asked to add on programs that are yet undefined. Uh, you have to understand that I'm not fully grasping the whole entire game plan just yet. Thank you. Sure. 